Hi everyone, this is Carolina here, and today I want to show you how you can share your digital notebook with your students so they can update it um, under end when you add any new material. Uh, so this is really cool again because you know in the beginning you're kind of trying to figure out what you want to add, and you know as the units progress, you can um, you can come up with other things that you want to include. Uh, so this is a great way to do that without having to share. Um, another digital notebook or different stuff. So the first thing you want to have is your digital notebook. Um, and what I ended up doing is I called it master copy. Um, so you might want to name that the way you remember. This is like the one where you are going to add things to. And then the second thing you want to do is um, you're going to make a copy. So you know, file, make a copy, entire presentation. And then I could just uh, call it student copy. Okay. Okay. So once it makes a copy, you're gonna see again the same thing, all your slides here. But I'm going to actually delete every slide except the main page. So to do that, you shift, select them all, delete. And then I'm gonna go back to my master slide and I'm going to select all the slides here, the back cover that I have. I'm going to pray, press uh, shift to select them all. And then copy. And I'm gonna paste. Oh no, hold on a second. <laughs> Let's try that. Control. So now when you do that, you're going to see this come up and it says import slides and it says do not link. Uh, and you want to actually press the button, uh, this that says link to original presentation. So once you do that uh, throughout your slides, you're going to see this that comes up. It's a little link icon. And you're going to see that as well as this update. So what's going to happen is um, you can share this and you can share this with your students um, in Google Classroom or, um, you know, have them do the force copy and so on. Um, so if I go back to my master slides and I want to add uh, something else here and I wanted to update on the student's end. So let's say I want to add to uh, slide number nine. Um, I just took a, a screenshot of this activity I had or these questions. So let's say I want them to have this here um, and then, you know, have them answer these questions. So what's going to happen now if I go to the student copy and I go to slide number nine, this is going to pop up and says update. So if they click this and update their slide, those questions are going to show up. Now, if they start working on this, so if I'm a student and I start answering these questions here, um, soy estudioso. What's going to happen um, is they can actually, if they, uh, if I were to add something else here, is that a shape? I don't know. So if I were to add this, and then on their end, the update uh, comes up again, the option for updating. If they do that, their actual work they had before is going to um, go away. Now they can actually just undo. So that's another thing they can do with this to go back to it. Um, or once you figure out the uh, activity you want them to do on the slide, if you want, you can uh, tell them to uh, unlink it. So then now this slide will not be linked to the presentation, the original presentation. Now, let's say that you, um, that the student actually is gonna add another slide of their own um here 
you know, they can continue adding to their slides. Um, and actually, sorry, let's say that in your master copy, you want to add another slide here. Um, and you want the students to have that slide. Um, but this was, again, not a slide that was in the original. Uh, so let's say, again, I have, or here, let's put a shape again. So if we add, here we go, triangle this time. So let's say I want them to have this. And again, that slide wasn't there before in this original presentation. So what you can have them do is they can go to like here and they can go to open source. So they can go directly where that or you know master slide is. And I can tell them go to slide, you know, let's find it, my triangle. I can say go to slide number 15 and copy and paste that slide into your presentation. So they can go and copy the slide here. Okay, and then they can say link to original. So again, this is a great thing to do because um, again, you might not have all your materials ready in the beginning of the year. So you might wanna keep adding as you go. Uh, and it's just an easier way again for them to keep everything organized through this notebook. Um, but again, the most important thing is when you share this, you need to make sure um, when you do the student version that you copy and paste the content and that you click uh, link to, my, uh, to the original slide. And then for you to actually share this with the students, um, you can go to uh, your Google Classroom and you can uh, create an assignment. So let's say I create my assignment. Um, notebook. And then I add from my drive. Okay. Insert. So here it is. Let's say I'll sign it. So when you go, they go to their assignment. Um, again, you sh they should be able now to see uh, on their end this link here. So if they needed to update anything, they should be able to. Um, so yeah, so this is, and that's it. This is, uh, again, like a great way for you to just kind of save some time of um, adding extra slides and uh, for them to keep everything together and for you to be able to uh, give them uh, access to new material. Okay, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good year so far. And um, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.